Principle 1. Equitable Use This is when the design is useful and marketable to people with diverse abilities. Provide the same means of use for all users, identical whenever possible. Avoid surrogating or stigmatizing any users. Make the design appealing to all users. Principle 2. Flexibility. This is when the design accommodates a wide range of individual preferences and abilities. Provide choice and methods of use. Accommodate right or left handed access and use. Facilitate the user's accuracy and precision. Principle 3. Simple and intuitive. This is when the use of the design is easy to understand, regardless of the user's experience, knowledge and language skills. Eliminate unnecessary complexity. Accommodate a wide range. Principle 4. Receptive information. This is when the design communicates necessary information effectively to the user, regardless of ambient conditions or the user's sensory abilities. Provide compatibility with a variety of techniques or devices used by people with sensory limitations. Maximize legibility of essential information. Differentiate elements in ways that can be described, i.e. make it easy to give instructions or directions. Principle 5. Tolerance of Error This is when the design minimizes hazards and the obvious consequences of accidental or unattended actions. Avoid failed save features. Discourage unconscious actions and tasks that require vigilance. Principle 6 Low Physical Effect. This is when the design can be used efficiently and comfortably and with a minimum of data. Sustain physical effort. Minimize repetitive actions. Principle 7 Size and space for approach and use. Appropriate size and space is provided for approach, reach, manipulation, and use, regardless of user's body, size, posture, or mobility. Provide adequate space for the use of assistive devices or personal assistance. Make reach to all components comfortable for any seated or standing user. 